instrumental music students just to me they feel very sort of sure and comfortable with who they are um, I appreciate how um, open they are to uh, unique and creative ideas um, I, I think that they're hilarious people uh, they have a very unique brand of humor um, and I don't know every single day is a little bit different with um, these ensembles also I really like music so there's mm. that oh the uh, yeah um, it's cool that's it's nice to be recognized last year in this classroom at least for me it never felt like a bummer because again as I said one of the things that I love so much about my students is um, they're willing to be open to new ideas and to be creative and to experience new things and what last year did uh, was really to, and this year to a certain degree, um, is making us rethink the way that we do things. And sometimes it rains outside, and so you have to think about what else you can do instead of going outside, and you have to be creative. Sometimes the world throws a pandemic at you, and you have to think about what you can do about that. Um, and it's not the exact same thing. And just because it's not the exact same thing that you're used to experiencing every single day, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Mm, favorite event. Um, so this is one that we did not get to do uh, last year, but we still had a, a great time with our jazz concert. One of my, my favorite events of the year um, I think we started doing this six or seven years ago um, where we would take the jazz band and just go play at a different um, we played at the pit a couple of times we played at McCarthy's a couple of times um, because a lot of the sort of gig economy for musicians comes from bars and restaurants um, and so I wanted my students to experience what it's like to go and play at a bar or a restaurant. Um, and it has been a blast every single year. We usually bring in a guest band to play. We've had the Back Alley Brass Band. We've had the Crowder Big Band in. Um, and uh, it's always just a raucous, fun time. Okay. All right, thank you for uh, your answers and that's all the questions. Very good. Interview complete.